Good morning, friends. We're coming up on 901. We're breaking into programming right now because we have a tornado warning in effect for northeastern East Feliciana Parish, southeastern Wilkinson, and southwestern Amy County in southern Mississippi. This is in effect until 930. The National Weather Service said at 857, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Clinton, moving north around 25 miles per hour. So right now, right over Clinton, and this will be moving near Wilson and Phelps around 9:10, so within the next nine minutes or so, and then Norwood around 9:20, Centerville around 9:30 a.m. So again, this is an active tornado warning crossing near Clinton right now. You can kind of see some of those uh, fuchsia colors mixed in with the red. That's indicating some pretty heavy rain at the moment, maybe even some um, some hail in the mix. And look Looking at the base velocity, I'm not seeing too much right now, but keep in mind this radar beam is going about uh, 7,000 feet in the air. So it is getting some of, it, it is still far away, so it is not able to see what's going on near the surface. And if I toggle on another product we have, Normally, when you can point out where the strongest rotation is, you see green and reds together. Seeing only that a little bit. Let's see about our barren button. Again, not really seeing much, just perhaps some heavy rain within this. But either way, we have an active tornado warning, so we're going to be with you until the threat passes. Again, this could impact Norwood just on the line near Wilson. So uh, keep in mind, you want to pay attention to the entire polygon. So even with the threat of the storm, the, the most dangerous part of the storm may stay to um, the west of Woodland. You still want to be in that safe place to make sure that if it doesn't kind of drift more to the east. So Clinton, Norwood, and then uh, Teddy, Phelps, again, you want to take um, action and put as many walls between you and the, and the outside as possible. Whitaker as well in, in southern Mississippi, Centerville, will be in your area within the next 20 to 30 minutes. It's aerial along 48, uh, Mount Pleasant. You might want to just be in, uh, ready to get to that safe place should this storm hold itself together. If you're not um, dealing with the heavy rain in your area and winds start to pick up, again, that's why you want to be in your safe place. The place, the, the area that I'm most concerned about as of right now uh, would be near Clinton. If we're not seeing a tornado, because keep in mind this is not a uh, um, a confirmed tornado. It's a radar indicated tornado warning. Still dealing with some gusty winds. So be sure if you live within this red box that you see, this is west of Greensburg, so no issues for you, Greensburg. This is to the east of Jackson. You want to put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Remember, we have that active tornado warning for northeastern East Feliciana Parish and then southeastern Wilkinson County and southwestern Amy County until 930. Given this environment, yes, the threat for tornadoes is low, but not zero by any means. So it's not going to take much to see some of these showers or storms to rotate. So that is why, again, we're monitoring the situation very, very carefully. Could be seeing some wind gusts in excess of 40 to 50 miles per hour, getting close to 50 for some spots as well. Uh, let me toggle on some of the other products that we have just to kind of show you what's going on. But still not seeing any vivid sign of, of rotation. Here's one of our products that we have. Um, our exclusive Baron products. It shows you the rotation detector, and it is picking up on some weak rotation. I'll zoom in just to the west of Woodland at the moment. So it's, again, showing some signs of rotation. It's not very strong rotation, because if it had been some strong rotation, it would show some of the reds or even some of the yellows, but it is still showing some signs of rotation. This is the rotation tracker. Um, over the last 20 minutes or so, and it is showing, again, some of those signs of rotation along Highway 10 near Clinton. So again, if this is where you live or you live uh, uh, within this red box that you see on your screen, uh, you need to be in your safe place, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. 
the storm will be near Wilson and Phelps around 9:10 this morning, so that's in about five minutes or so. Norwood around 9:20, and then Centerville around 9:30 this morning. So let me put a tracker on this for you guys. And again, it's moving about 25 miles per hour generally to the north. So I'll just. Uh, put a track. It's not showing much because, again, this is some of our rural areas, but folks still live in these rural areas, so we need to make sure we're staying on air and staying with you guys until the threat does end. Again, Norwood, you're in this uh, uh, in this polygon under this tornado warning along 19 Whitaker. If it holds itself together. It could be uh, knocking on your doorstep within the next 20 minutes or so, so you do want to be in that safe place. Um, the National Weather Service is going to continue this tornado warning. They'll issue these updates. Um, they are now saying at 9.05, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado still near Clinton, now moving to the northwest at 30 miles per hour. So it has uh, picked up some of its forward motion. Now could be near Wilson around 9.10 this morning. Norwood around 9.20 and again Centerville around 9.30. So you can kind of see how they trimmed that uh, that polygon just a little bit. So let's try and put a new tracker on here again. This is in more of a rural area, so it might not pick up on many towns you see within that. But either way, again, Norwood, you're in this polygon. Phelps, I know you're on more of the eastern side of the polygon, but you do need to uh, keep in mind if you are within this polygon, you need to be in that safe place. Woodland, Teddy, Capel, in southwest Mississippi, Centerville, you're at the fringe of the of the polygon, but you still want to be in that safe place until the storm threat has decreased and it's past your area. Whitaker as well along 33 in Mississippi, uh, Norwood along 19. Again, it could pass between Teddy and Norwood within the next 20 minutes or so. Let me put on the shear rate product again. Remember, I just told you if uh, you see greens on here, this is our rotation detector. That means it is picking up on some rotation. And if we have rotation, even if it's broad rotation, we could see a tornado develop um, with little to no warning. But in this case, there has been some rotation detected, and so that is why we have a tornado warning in effect. Keep in mind this radar site is in slide L, so it is reaching the upper levels of the atmosphere. At this point, it's about 4,000 uh, feet uh, up in the atmosphere, so it is getting some of that mid-level and low-level rotation. It's actually picking up on perhaps some strong winds just southwest of Liberty. Um, let's see, seeing if anything else is popping up. Still not really seeing much on the, on the velocity product at the moment. I'll toggle this on, but it may even be producing some pretty strong winds at the moment in excess of 30 to 50 miles per hour. Could see some gust up to 60 miles per hour, even though uh, it, even if you, we don't see a tornado. So that is why, again, there is an active tornado warning in effect for portions of East Feliciana, Amy, and Wilkinson County in Mississippi until 9.30. Um, again, the National Weather Service said as of 9.05, the storm will be near Wilson around 9.10, Norwood around 9.20, and then Centerville around 9.30 this morning. Um, so you do want to put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Don't go outside looking for a tornado. If anything, it would be completely rain wrapped. You wouldn't see much because we have some heavy rain moving in as well. Make sure you move to an interior room on the lowest level of your home. You want to avoid windows, of course. And if you are outdoors in a mobile home or a vehicle, you want to make sure you move to the closest substantial shelter. And then, of course, uh, cover your head, protect yourself from flying debris. If you are driving, you hear this perhaps, you do want to pull over, go to a brick and mortar uh, store, whether that's a gas station, anything like that. Anything will be safer than your car or your mobile home. Um, so again, this is radar indicated. It is not confirmed. We haven't heard any, uh, 
of any confirmation from the National Weather Service or any uh, trained storm spotters or even emergency management. So this is just a radar indicated uh, tornado. So that is why we are breaking into programming. This is more of rural areas and along the state line, but people still live in rural areas. So that is why we are breaking into programming, bringing you the latest. Again, the, the most dangerous part of the storm, most likely moving to the north of Clinton right now, but it is moving to the northwest around 30, maybe 35 miles per hour. So we'll be near the state line uh, shortly. So again, make sure you are staying in that safe place. You put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. See, you see these um, greens and these reds together. That means that there could be some rotations, very broad and very weak. The National Weather Service did go ahead and cancel that tornado warning, so that's some great news there. But keep in mind, since we've already seen this happen once already, some of these storms could rotate quickly, produce a, a brief tornado or some gusty winds, so you do want to stay weather aware. If you live closer to the Baton Rouge metro and toward Ascension, Assumption, Iberville, and then you're traveling along I-10 and 12, keep in mind aerial flood advisories in place. So we're going to send things back to programming. You can find the latest on all of our, our flooding issues. All that flash flood watch continues through this evening. You can find all the details on our website, brproud.com. Make sure you have multiple ways to receive warnings and download that free BR Proud app. So take care, and if there's another warning issued, we'll be sure to bring you the latest.